I didn't get a syndicate contract, but by the time I stopped trying, I was so angry and discouraged about the state of the comics mm -hmm. that I didn't consider it a failure at all. I just was like, what a, what a train wreck. I mean, for example, I spent, I probably spent over a year resubmitting like little batches of two week strips with their suggestions and their suggestions were always amorphous and stupid at best. Uh, I'll give you one example. In fact, this was the one, this was one of the break the camel's back suggestions. Uh, one of the editors I was talking to said, well, you know, first of all, get rid of all the humans and the dragons and everything that makes bone bone, except for the bones, we'll just have the bones of Boneville, and can you just make them talk in thought balloons? And I was like, why? You can't hear thought balloons. But I didn't say that to him, I just asked him why. And he said, um, well, because Garfield talks in thought balloons. And I, I just had this, this moment where I went, oh my God, you're the guy who is the gatekeeper for what gets into the newspaper, and you don't have the slightest fucking idea what a comic strip is or how it works. Yeah. And I was, a, I just was like, well, that's it. What can I do? I can't. So I didn't feel like I had failed. I just felt like <laughs> the guys who were in charge are are idiots. Well, with, with you know, I was at the Festival of Cartoon Art at Ohio State in 1989 when Bill Washington gave his famous speech uh, called "The Cheapening of the Comics," which was really about how comics in their glory days, you know, or even their infancy, were full page uh, sheets. You know, a, a crazy cat ran at the size of a whole newspaper page. And um, now they were just smaller and smaller and smaller, and the syndicates had uh, bizarre and arcane rules about how the panels could be made up so the Sunday pages could be clicked around into different puzzle pages so they could run them down vertically or stack them or get rid of a whole top tier of panels. And I think Watterson just was fed up with that and gave a fairly fairly passionate uh, and moving talk about that. And at one point he said something about like if if I had a like a sense I would I would chuck this whole syndicated thing and just go self publish. And uh, I had a moment after that speech uh, where I went, I left the building and went out, sat out front in the grass under a tree and had an existential crisis uh, and just said, you know what, I need to just refocus, forget comic strips, forget animation, and I need to self-publish Bone as a comic book. That was it. I just, that was the, the point I made that, that call. Yeah. And uh, Within two years, Bone was on the shelves of, of comic book stores.